My name is Richard Lewis. I'm the club professional at the Worcestershire Golf Club in Malvern and a fully qualified club maker. What I'd like to talk to you about now is the importance of getting your shafts spined to determine where their bending plane actually is. Now you would think all shafts are going to behave in pretty much the same way, but what you'll see from this demonstration is that there is quite a variety even in the way that you put the shaft into the head. So this shows you the importance of assembly. This is a 205 gram standard weight which is used in club making and it has an attached laser. Now I'm going to use this because it's the best way to demonstrate the bending plane of a shaft. I'm putting that into a, a very popular make of shaft. This is an Aldilla NV used by most of the world's best manufacturers to produce some of the most popular clubs of recent years. And what I'm going to do is put it into the machine. This is a flex analyzer. I'm going to put it into the machine with the label uppermost, which is the way that most of the companies will assemble their product. So if I do that now, tighten the machine onto the shaft, turn the laser on. And if I dim the lights and set the shaft in motion, you see how it's oscillating. It's now trying to find its bending plane and it's actually veering off to the left. Let's just do that again. Bigger movement this time. You can see how it's veering to the left. It's trying to get stable but it just can't. Now, if I turn the lights back up, if I perform the same operation but I turn the shaft, I can tell you I've already looked at this shaft so I know where the bending plane is, I marked it earlier, and if I put the shaft into that vise in that position and then do the same exercise again, you'll see the difference. I shall dim the lights. Now if you have a look at that, I'm sure you'll agree that is a far more consistent movement of that shaft. What I've really done there is, is I've ascertained what the bending plane is of that shaft. And you can imagine that if that isn't done on every club in your golf bag, then they're all going to behave completely differently no matter how well they were custom fit by your professional. Um, it's really the final assembly that makes all the difference. So with that in mind, you can now see how vital it is to have these checks done on your equipment. Or better still, have your next set manufactured, or your next driver manufactured to these tolerances. And I think you'll find that you will play an awful lot better. You'll be far more consistent, and you'll be able to eliminate your golf clubs as being at fault. I hope that's been useful, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.